again, I'm Ian McLeod from the Gibbs Center for African Management and Markets, or CAM. Uh, we're here with two authors of an interesting paper that we'd like to share with you. The Distinctive Global Mindset of Black South African Executives. Charlene Liu, uh, Senior Lecturer here at Gibbs, and her co-author Lifigile Luc, uh, who is an MBA from 2017, same year as me, in fact. Uh, Let's start off with you, Livigile. This white paper emerged from your MBA research. What drew you to the topic? So I think the starting point would be to say that I'm a big fan of um, African leadership concept, and I believe in our country um, as a whole. So that's what prompted the exercise. And I remember coming across during the MBA journey, coming across a call by the Global uh, Management Institute for a more African perspective on global mindset. And that's what prompted their, their research work. Charlene, from an academic perspective, what is the need uh, for, this, uh, for this work? Uh, Ian, as you know, as we're exploring African leadership, as Livy Kilev said, there's very little literature that really expands on the uniqueness of leading in Africa. Uh, concepts like Ubuntu has become popularized, but we haven't really fully understood these constructs. And so when Lifikili approached me a number of years ago to do this research, I was extremely excited. His passion also carried me forward because uh, this was a real need to understand how uh, black executives think about globalization and, and how to be leaders in a global world. It's always unfair to ask guests to explain their research in uh, a minute or two, but give it a try. Tell us what you found in a nutshell. So in a nutshell, I mean, the approach was um, rather different, right? Um, so when we went out, when I went out to have conversations with these leaders, the intent was really to understand and get, in, get to understand their journeys um, of being leaders, be it in the South African context, and their journeys abroad as to how they were able to break away from their norms that they were brought up in in the South African context and be able to still be successful in, um, in the global space. And um, I'm sure um, Charlene will uh, take you through as to what the findings were, but um, I think what was the, the most fascinating part about this journey was that everything that I thought I knew about African leadership um, just became reduced to being almost nothing to what I got to learn about these um, leaders' journeys. Uh, as Lipikili said, the, what came to the fore and what was most surprising is how the experience of these executives had developed a global mindset that's quite distinctive and very strong around values of collaboration, around um, f appreciating differences in cultures, um, and it, we saw clear manifestation of all the dimensions of a global mindset, but with a unique twist in that, that the collaboration, Ubuntu, and, and a wonderful work ethic of, of being goal-directed and resilience came through from these executives. What surprised you about, the, about your findings? I think what, what surprised me the most was that if you look at, um, at uh, how these leaders were brought up, in terms of their teenagehood going into adulthood and their first years in the, in the working space, the experiences that you would think would not add value to their later lives, in our conversations, those experiences and the cultural and traditional values that were instilled in, this, in these leaders helped these leaders become the successful people that we now know them to be. So it's amazing how, how a traditional value that a typical African child would not see, see this value manifest into something significant and meaningful for the global space it was amazing for me as an African child to see all of those values manifest in the bigger space. Fascinating. Charlene, uh, as you progress, uh, just like any, the end of any study, uh, required future research um, or, or re recommended future research, What's, what's coming next in this field? Uh, Ian, I think what's most important uh, in terms of research and both for practitioners is for us to really delve into the construct of African values and how it plays out in the different or, uh, segments of, of uh, our organizations, how we should adjust up our policies, our way of working, 
Um, and I think towards working towards greater collaboration, collaborative decision making, etc. So there's a huge space for research that taps those African values um, in the workplace and what it can mean, what capital that can be to our organizations, what value that can create for organizations. Well, there we have it. Uh, powerful need for this in academia and in practice. Uh, Charlene and Lefigile, thank you very much for joining us. This has been Ian McLeod for CAM. <laughs>